wonderful people uh what's rike equita chalea equita chalea equita chalea my brother um the other time if you have been following my uh, my broadcast here you will find that uh, this thing maze was rike uh, talked about i have said the same thing it is not about coming out on social media it's not about ringing bells it's not about shouting of uh, what the government what the that the south is governors uh, they are writing a petition they are writing letter uh, to the president you have to be there in present and as a matter of fact the south is governors i think they are undermining themselves because they don't even know their power as 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 the governors in southeast johannes and Dibo does not even know their power as johannes and Dibo. because this is not even coming out on social media in the case of sunday go they never did it in the case of the outside guy they never did it all these things we are just silent movement and uh, the southeast governors every day they will come out and tell us this uh, they will come and be announced it is on social media what we want to hear is result. What is the outcome? Tell us that you have went to meet the president and this is so, 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 so is the outcome. It's not gallivanting on social media, uh, coming out and making noise on social media. And after making noise on social media, nothing will come of it because we know that soon election is coming. And these people know that the only way they can get the heart of the South is uh, people is by talking about the issue of margin and the kind of so that the people will feel that uh, they have interest. Many of them are now using it for their own personal political interest. Watch this video and tell me what you observe. In the fact that on his own, IPOB is a human rights organization fighting for self-determination. Now, taking advantage of the fact that he has not been around, some people has said it to use the name to do some other things. And uh, if you recall, that was in uh, February when I traveled to Europe. So he instructed that I should try to see um, uh, Simon Eber. I so it was in Finland, I think. It yes, was, yes, Finland, that I should 
go to Finland to see Simon Eba, and I should advise him. You know, remember that he has written with his own writing. So Simon Eba said he wrote that thing with AK-47 on his head that you can only believe if Nand Kalu is out. So after my program, I contacted him. I said, please, I want to come and see you. How do I get across to you? He said, where am I? I'm in Germany. He said, okay, that I should go to Belgium and wait for him. I traveled to Belgium. I waited for him for two days. He said, let us talk on phone. <laughs> I said, now, I'm a, your leader, Mazen Nande Kalu, whom you called your leader, said that he's not happy with you. I marshal out some points. Paramount among them is the economy of in the Southeast in particular and Nigeria as a whole and the killings. So he said he disagreed with me that Nande Kalu did not send me, that I fabricated this mm. two story. So now I came back, I visited Nande Kalu. I said, the young man said, except you are out, that's when he will believe you. So, and some other issues, going also by what the court has hinted, let it not be as if we don't want peace. Then, also, the fact that on his own. All right, my wonderful people, that one is coming from Mazin and the Count's lawyer, who uh, was narrating how he went to. Uh, how he went to uh, uh, Germany, Europe, and decided to meet Mars Simon Eba in order to be able to uh, deliver Mars and the Canon's uh, message to him uh, because uh, Canon has already written to Mars Simon Eba, according to him, uh, to pedal down, to slow down. But Eba himself has said that I'm um, Canon. Uh, we never say such a thing that whatever he's saying now is because he is under duress and that is why he is uh, saying something like that meanwhile um make you watch this video uh as napito be post and we say on the day kenyan you chase their parliament parliamentarians they ended up having their meals in the bush and i watch the video <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back. Uh, the people you are seeing there on your video is um. Uh, Kenyan parliamentaries that their youth chased away from the parliament and they ended up eating their uh, their meal in the bush. Um, meanwhile, I don't know when that is going to become the fate of this nation because a lot of things have gone down the line. Uh, the government that is meant to protect the people are no more protecting the people. Uh, rather, they are siphoning what the people are meant to use to take care of themselves, all in the name of governance. And we are still wondering when are all these things uh, going to end. Watch this video before I will say come back to you again. Now, the question we should be asking is, when they went to search Imam Jekano's house, what weapon did they find in that house? What is he being charged for? Are they stupid? 
say Westerns in this country, and nobody has arrested them. For me, this whole thing has become a political issue. Okay. Nigeria has always been a country where there is selective justice, depending on who you know and what region you come from. But you see, when people say release Nam the Kano, and they're saying the courts have granted him bail or whatever, we, we need to also put that in perspective. Now, when the appeal court discharged him and said he should be released, the first mistake the federal government did was not to have released him. Even if they were going to appeal that case, they should have released him. But they did not. They held him and then went to Supreme Court. Huh? All right, uh, my wonderful people, and I don't see us it happen. Um, everybody is saying the same thing. Uh, there was no evidence uh, found on Mazen and the uh, and why he should be, he should still be held captive uh, in that um, DSS dungeon. There has been a lot of filing uh, by his legal team. Uh, but of course, you know, the country where we find ourselves uh, is where the rule of law does not um, does not have any meaning uh, to the government, even to the populace. Uh, what we find in this country is what is called I am, uh, who you know, and 